San Antonio, <laughs> my home until the end. Pa 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 da pa, ra pa pa da pa da pa. It's you. You're not allowed to put that in the video. What's, What's up, guys? guys? Welcome back. Welcome to back to a another brand new video. video. And, today and today we have Tom Stefanik roasting, roasting my Air Jordan One collection. collection. That was pretty good. Yeah. We didn't plan that. If you missed the last collab video we did, we roasted and not well, necessarily roasted, but we talked about the best and worst Air Jordan Ones for the next year, 2021. So I'll leave it linked down below. I thought Tom was going to like frame and, and have them all for his shrine. No. Back home like, in Winnipeg. There's some very nice Jordan ones coming out this year. Yeah. Or next year. Next year. Next year. Um, some of them aren't. Let's just leave it at that. You guys can yeah. watch the video. I'm genuinely looking forward to this, seeing, you know, which sneakers you got, you, which sneakers you like, dislike, and if you have any, like, personal stories, let's get into the pair. So let's start off with, uh, with the Singapore ones. I call these the Singapore ones because I bought them in Singapore. These right here. The Hyper Crimson. Hyper Crimson. So what are your thoughts on so, these? So these came out in January of 20... 19. Yes, yes. And I got them in New York. I bought them and then I immediately returned them like two days after because they just weren't reselling for anything. I, mm -hmm. I did a video, got its purpose out with that, and then they weren't reselling for anything. And now they actually go for a decent amount. So I personally have owned this sneaker for all of like 40 hours, maybe. <laughs> uh, so I don't have too many Wait, That's how long it. it took for you to return the shoe. 40, 40 hours. Yeah, essentially. And uh, I'm sure someone was happy that it got, you know, restocked at Foot Locker mm -hmm. after I returned it. But yeah, it's, it's a good shoe. It's not a great shoe, but it's a good shoe. These also released alongside, I think like, uh, I forget, the Turbo Green. I think that's the pair. Those, they were close. The Turbo Green was like a, a month later. A month later. But they also had like the same suede makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about those versus this pair? The Turbo Greens are way better. And I sort of wish I had kept a pair. I actually actually saw the turbo green thing coming because just like these they were sitting at stores yeah i didn't return my turbo greens in fact i got like nine or ten pairs of turbo greens oh my gosh and they were all like brick sizes like they were size 11 12 13 because yeah. no one was buying them and they were just you know asking me to take them at livestock <laughs> quite literally they had leftover pairs and uh one of the employees at livestock was like tom do you want to buy these because they know i'm crazy and i do stuff like that so i just took like all nine or ten pairs mm. and uh this past june i sold all of them for basically double my money in the span of, I guess it's like a year and a half. So it is a decent amount of time, but yeah. to double your money in a year and a half is very good. Next up, let's get to uh, a more recent Air Jordan 1 release. These released earlier this year in the spring and these sat for a while, resale steadily climbed over time. Uh, these are the pine green, I believe 2.0s. So I obviously love these because it's a Celtics colorway and mm -hmm. I'm a huge Celtics fan. Surprisingly, I do not have those in my collection. Yeah, um, why don't you? What? I, I just couldn't justify, I have every other Celtics Jordan ones. Okay. I have the DMP Celtics, I have the yep. 2014 Celtics. Yep. I have the pine green uh, 1.0, I have the pine green, is that the 2.0? This is the 2.0. Okay, actually. so I have the pine yeah. green 1.0. I don't need five pairs. There's another pair that I'm forgetting, mm -hmm. but I don't need five pairs of Celtics Jordan ones. It's just a little bit excessive. These released the same morning as the Travis Scott Dunks. I think so. And I went to the Supreme release because kids were fighting each other and I wanted to go film a video there. Mm -hmm. And then at like noon, I went to Foot Locker on 34th and 6th and grabbed a pair. And it was just first come, first serve. Like super easy to get two hours after release. Yeah. And then I think I just gave them away or put them in a mystery box or something. Next up are a pair of uh, Shadow Air Jordan 1 highs. I actually picked up in Japan. Uh, a few months early before they got an international release. And uh, I love these things. I undies them at a club, so probably not Look the best you. place. Yeah, they got stepped on like a lot. Baller. How do you feel about these? So these had zero hype, up. zero, zero, zero hype. And I got these on sale at a Foot Locker. Oh, wow. Um, this was back during like the era of my channel mm -hmm. where literally all I did, and you guys are gonna be like, Tom, you still do this. But literally <laughs> all I did was just go to Foot Locker like four times a week mm. and just do like sneaker shopping. Like this is what's sitting at Foot Locker. And and usually I'd pick something up as part of the video. And this is just, you know, like a YouTube video pickup. Like it wasn't something I was dying to get. Yeah. But I bought it because it's not a bad shoe and it was something cool to talk about on camera. Got it on sale and I ended up selling it to my friend uh, for like $130 or something like that. And now it's a $500 shoe and I'm not even friends with that guy anymore. Next up, we have the Rookie of the Years. I ended up buying three pairs of these because they sat in San Antonio, Texas, where I was at when these dropped at the time. Shout out to the, shout out to the subscriber who shout bought one of them. Shout out to San Antonio, <laughs> my home until the end. Dude. 
That takes me back. I remember filming <laughs> that music video. Good time. Shout out to the homie Legit Tim. And Average Kid. And Average Kid. And Average Kid. God. And uh, Show yeah. Some respect. Those bars, man. Those bars were fire. Anyways, how do you feel about these here? I got these on release date. First come, first serve. Really no hype, as Christian was saying. I love them. I it, it, Like, now I would wear these. I could wear these right now. Yeah. This would actually look very good. Yeah, I, I sold these for like retail or maybe like $5 over retail. Ooh. Bruh. Um, a couple months after I bought them. Just because like, I don't know. You need to pay for stuff sometimes right like you can't afford to have 200 grand inside in shoes it just gets stupid at some point Why you can't well i mean like i don't know i just think it's <laughs> dumb you know like i to have two hundred thousand dollars of shoes stacked up uh so i sold these and then price skyrocketed mm -hmm. we're seeing a trend here yeah we are seeing a very depressing trend but we're gonna have some good <laughs> ones in here where i did capitalize on them so. all right next up we have the uh, face tasm air jordan one mid these mid are disgusting these are absolutely what? disgusting my God. These are gross. Is that how you feel about all mids or ninety like this Ninety-eight percent of mids. Uh, mm -hmm. The texture on this looks like a wrinkly dinosaur. Okay, but I love dinosaurs. We and then I don't one. like the Jumpman on the heel. It okay. just, it's pointless. What about this orange tag on the don't back? Don't like the orange tag. That is sacrilegious to the Jordan and 1. And the Jumpman branding I don't like on the, the tongue? I just don't like the shoe. Get it okay. out of my presence, right. Christian. These are the Chicago to... LA to Chicago. LA That's to what Chicago. It's LA to Chicago. I was going to say New York. Or no, some it. of us call the Latchy. What the LA to CHI. These were a sort of like a gift from eBay. How do you feel about the LA to Chicago? I really like this shoe. Yeah, I think it's a crazy concept, crazy colors. I have the Paris to uh, the New York ones, like the gray ones that mm -hmm. turned into pink, um, which were less popular than these. I love the paintable version. Like just, it's, it's a really cool concept. I've never actually owned this pair though. I didn't get them on release and they weren't that expensive at first. I could have yeah. got them for reasonably prices. They're too expensive now. I'm never going to own these unless I get them in like a brand deal or something. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to spend that much money on them, but an amazing pair of shoes. I feel like these kinds of sneakers, the ones where the paint chips off would be Super so cool. like so on brand for you too though. Cause when I think I of wear you, them you a wearing lot. ones, yeah, you a lot. tell them about the shadows. Like you told me about what happened with your shadows and some stranger the other oh, day. <laughs> I was yeah. standing in the elevator and this guy asked what year my shadows were from. And I told him, I don't know, like 2017, 2018, whatever they released. And he's like, wow, I thought those were like 2001s or OGs or something because of how beat up they were. Mm -hmm. And then he congratulated me for putting that many <laughs> miles on them. Hearing someone destroy ones to that level, I would love to see what a pair would genuinely look like worn to the ground, not with acetone or anything like that. Next up, let's talk about the, the real deal. The Air Jordan 1 High now Chicago. Now this I have a happy story about. All right, tell me about your happy story, Tom. What's okay, up? so. I was fortunate enough to call this, okay? Call not this? What do you mean by call this? The market movement. Of oh, this. okay. Not that I knew it was going to go to the prices it's at now, where most sizes are above 1500 USD. I knew that these things were going to go up in price. I bought my first pair of these for $260, which is still in my collection today. And yeah. then I bought around a dozen, maybe even up to 15 more pairs for an average price of like 400 ish dollars. Mm -hmm. And I sold them all a little bit too early for an average price of like $1,350. They're yeah. going for a little bit more now. I could have got like 16, 17 if I had waited. Yeah. But I sold them in May during the last dance. So I made like 10 grand off of this shoe, give or take. And then I actually had some extra pairs. I put some in a mystery box. I still have a pair in my collection. So this shoe has brought me a lot of prosperity and happiness. Mm -hmm. And it's one of my favorite Jordan 1 colorways ever. <laughs> and I called the market and I still have a dead stock pair for myself to enjoy. And I think yeah. I actually have two pairs. I have two pairs of these in my oh, collection shit. still. Now, are, there, are there like any other Air Jordan 1s where you've called the market on in the past besides the Chicago? I mean, the, the Turbo Greens we talked about. Yeah. I knew those are going to go up because it's anytime you, I don't know, just that's a good color blocking. It's mm -hmm. just green, white, green, white. Yeah. Like there's nothing crazy going on. And then this is the Chicago and it didn't make sense that these were going for so cheap at the time. Mm -hmm. So 2017, 2018, I bought up a lot of pairs of these for good prices. Next up is a shoe that I wore in the Philippines when I was in the Philippines with Tom uh, last year. I love these A shoes. ton. These are, I believe, the, the Gym Red. They're still called the Gym yes. Red. There's so many Gym Red ones, but this was the Gym Red from, I believe, last year. And uh, these sat for a while, too. Yeah. In Toronto, these were sitting, and I couldn't believe it. I, I ended up buying, like, three pairs total as well. And I wish I bought more because it's such a, it's it's a classic colorway. Yeah. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, so, so you the, bought these two, right? Yeah, I actually, mm -hmm. I got a few pairs yeah. after release. Same deal, the size 11 through 13s weren't selling out. And they're going for around 260, 270 USD. I've sold all of mine. And then I have one pair for myself that I actually, basically I moved to New York last year. And uh, I realized that 
I didn't take everything because I still had a condo in Canada. I didn't mm -hmm. take everything with me, and I realized I hadn't brought a pair of like daily beater shoes. Yeah. I only brought my favorite shoes. Which so are? Which were? I bought you know like all the nice ones, like the Union LAs, the bread ones, okay, okay, like okay. stuff like that. Yeah, Not yeah. stuff that I'm gonna wear every single day. So I went to Nike Fifth Avenue, and it was just like I'm gonna buy the best shoe that they have there to wear every day, and this was it. And I've put in so many miles mm -hmm. on this pair of shoes, and I love them. Like mine are a lot more beat up than yours, mm -hmm. but uh, well, obviously, I really yeah. really enjoy. I think this I remember that video too because uh you were like booster boarding everywhere in new york city yeah and so i was getting just... my shoes dirty yeah because like if it's raining at all then the the booster board spits up water onto yeah. your shoes and i didn't want to get like my nice shoes covered in new york sludge yeah have you ever cleaned them at all or you just keep your oh yeah yeah, yeah. no I, I i wipe them down once in a while like i'm not yeah. getting in there with you know like a a little a little loop and like scrubbing yeah. things off and stuff but is there like a threshold of dirtiness where you're like, all right, it's about time I clean these. Do you ever get that feeling when it comes to certain ones? Or It's it's more just a free time thing. Mm -hmm. Like okay. if I have an evening where yeah. I'm just like, you know what, I'll just, you know, clean up some of my shoes. Okay. More than like how dirty they are. So we have four more pairs remaining. And if you guys like this video so far, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you guys want to see maybe like a part two where he roasts other sneakers in my collection, maybe my Yeezy collection. I will happily do it. Yeah. Well, I feel like you'll have a field day going on on my yeah because jordan ones i like them like yeah. i'm not really gonna roast that many but yeezys them, so. will be just easy mode yeah let's see if this video can get like maybe a thousand thumbs up and maybe a hundred comments saying to do the yeezys we'll do them but uh next up we have the the first air jordan one i paid resale for we have the air jordan one bread arguably not just the the best air jordan one of all time but arguably the best sneaker of all time in my opinion i love these things and i absolutely just beat the crap out of these man i will happily like you you guys have those sneakers too tom how do you feel about the bread one favorite shoe ever i got these the 2016 pair yeah. on release day for retail it was like my first sneaker camp out it was my first like super hype pair of shoes i got on release you day. vlogged it as well yeah all right so we'll leave that vlog link down below because i'm sure that's going to be a nice experience Nostalgia. because yeah, we can't really do any camp out videos right now. Yeah. No, so, it was really fun. They check only it had out. eight pairs of my champs. Holy crap. And then there was this huge fight because some people lined up at one door to the mall and some people lined mm -hmm. up at the other door to the mall and the people that were at the wrong door were there like four hours before us, but wow. they didn't get in Yeah. because they lined up at the wrong door. So then they were super mad, but I got literally, I was eighth in line and there was eight pairs and I got them and this is one of my favorite shoes. And I have a couple pairs. Of these. I think I only have two pairs of these. One of them is brand yeah. new and one of them I beat to death, but I love these, my favorite shoes. You can wear them with like literally anything in that lineup did you manage to get your exact size or yes did, yeah, yeah. I got size 12. oh that's that yeah, because no one's trying nice. to resell size 12 right? yeah that's true it's not and really a popular size. In, in winnipeg where i was at like most sneaker heads are filipino guys mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of holes like, <laughs> there's not very many size 12 my filipino Filip yes yeah. my filipinos we we know how short you guys are we love you we know the the height situation over there this right here paid resale 450 canadian i eventually i at one point i owned the 2013 pair paid 500 for those and just was way too broke after that so mm. i had to sell them for a 50 dollars loss broke boy uh, one week later but i mean if you're 17 18 yeah. buy bills for a pair it's of a shoes mucho dinero yeah. i mean these days that's kind of common for a lot of kids considering the resale culture now <sighs> i'm uh, like, so desensitized it's insane man just spending money on shoes i spend money on nothing else in my life <laughs> i spend money on nothing else in my life absolutely nothing else and then i just casually drop $800 every week on shoes early to show people. To be fair, it's it's easier when it's- It's a when business it's, Yeah, when it's like, your it business. It is how I earn my living. Yeah. But I'm so desensitized, like $800, $600, yeah. $1,200. It means nothing to me anymore. It's very, it's very bad. So the next sneaker is a more budget-friendly Air Jordan 1 bread. I have owned at least six pairs of these over the last six Woo. years. These are the Air Jordan 1 bread DMPs that also released alongside with a Celtic pair, which mm -hmm. I'm sure I think I have you the mentioned Celtic you have. Pair. So I, how do you feel about these ones? I finessed some dude for the Celtic pair. I yeah. don't know how. I traded him a worn, beat-ass pair of leather Converse. It was a cool pair, but I got it at the Converse outlet. Yeah. In, in Minneapolis and for like $60 Canadian and I wore it a lot and I nice. traded him these beat ass Converse. It was very nice Converse. Yeah, and I'd hope so. And a hundred bucks. So <laughs> like hundred, Converse okay. that were worth like $30 plus a hundred dollars. Yeah for the Celtics pair, brand new. I don't like this pair just because of the leather. It detracts from the Celtics pair as well, just because yeah. the leather is not good. Next up, we have uh, a more of a sentimental pair. So take it, take it easy on this one. I know they're a pair of mids. I, right away, he's gonna like notice the height difference. 
Um, these are the mid sneaker talk ones right here. This is a custom that was done at the Jordan store when it was a pop-up during the All-Star weekend, I think 2016 or 2015, whenever that was in Toronto. And we got the sneaker talk branding on the side. It says Scarborough on the other pair. How do you feel about the sneaker talk Air Jordan 1 mids? Uh, the leather's awful. Yep, okay. Agreed. Concept cool. Yeah, the fact that you can personalize it, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just the memories that go with it, I'm sure are very cool for you. Yeah. But there's just, for, like personally, just purely aesthetic, mm -hmm. they're just better white Jordan 1s. Okay. Like they're high top white Jordan 1s yeah. that I would wear 10 times out of 10 before I wore these. Mm -hmm. But obviously I do understand there's like other reasons that you like them. I wish at the time they had, cause this was the, like every single year they do a new version of the triple white mid. Yeah, yeah. So this was the year they added gray on it and I wish it was just pure white not the hits of gray, but yeah. it is what, what it is. What can you do? Most expensive pair. I wish I had, I don't. You don't have these? I'm poor boy. I only have the Chicago, so Jordan. maybe I'm not poor boy. <laughs> those are two and a half times the price. Got the Air Jordan 1 UNC or University Blue. Uh, these right here, I always have to give a shout out to the homie Grant shout for out Grant. blessing me with a fantastic price on these. I used to play Halo tournaments back. with Grant and like it was really fun. He's a cool dude. <laughs> Um, I remember we used to pull up to STC and do like really cool Halo tournaments I'm at the dead. Microsoft store. <laughs> and it was a good time. Wait, what Microsoft store? Oh, there's no Microsoft no, there's store? No. Oh, so you didn't have Halo tournaments at STC? No, not at STC. What are your thoughts and opinions on I this I love right them. Here? I love them, love them, love them. In an ideal world where money was but a fiction of my imagination, mm -hmm. a figment of my imagination, pardon, um, I would have all three pairs of these off-whites. In theory, you could trade like three to four pairs of one to get yeah, this like, if you really wanted it's, it. It's not, about, it's not about the money, yeah. it's just about the money. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the premise like of an expensive shoe you know i'm at the point in my life where yes i could go buy these and i could go buy the buy the white ones tomorrow yeah and i would be not i wouldn't be starving i wouldn't be wanting that money mm -hmm. but it's just a stupid use of money yeah you know like some amazon stock is going to serve me a lot better in 10 years than these um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just sort of at that point, like, and I'm, I'm sure you are to an extent as well, where it's like, yeah, you could buy any pair of shoes you want mm -hmm. within reason. Yeah. Um, at least any released pair, maybe not some of like the, the player exclusives and stuff. Oh yeah. I don't even care for those. That's not even a thought in my yeah. mind to buy. But it's just not a smart use of money. Mm -hmm. Tom, give me your overall thought on my Very mind solid mind. collection. Okay. I would burn the- Burn, whoa. Those, whoa, those we're blue mids. The blue mids? The blue and white and black the, mids. Oh, the, the face tasm mids, okay. Yeah, the yeah. face tasm. Burn those. Burn those. All right, give me um, give me your uh, two other horrible choices in my collection. The two other horrible choices? I mean, I feel bad saying Or the least whites, favorite, least favorite. The, the, the white sneaker talk ones. Okay, I don't want to say those are horrible, because yeah. like, it's, it's cool that they're like, they're your Jordan 1, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and then other least favorite, it sounds dumb to insult them, but like probably the 2013 breads. Okay. Not that I don't like them. Yeah. It's just like my least favorite version of, of the, the breads. breads. Okay. And then your top two in my collection. Oh, 100% the 2016 breads okay. and the Chicago. All right. Absolutely. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below what your favorite Air Jordan 1 is from my collection and least favorite if you want to roast them as well. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, go drop a comment of what your favorite toe is is it big toe pinky toe middle toe mm. ring finger toe let us know yeah and if you guys want to find out his favorite toe uh our instagrams will be linked down below and you can find out over on there we'll catch you guys later peace out